Alrighty. Hey girls. Um, so this is just a quick video. A lot of you asked me um, how I made these cute little jellyfish coasters. Um, so I'm sorry about the mess. Um, and my phone has no space left. So I'm going to try to film this with my um, computer. So it's not the best angle, but you guys can see what I'm doing. So I already mixed my resin. Um, I use Envirotex uh, Light. It does tend to yellow sometimes depending on the batch, um, but I've never had any problem when I tint it. So I'm actually going to do a couple drops of these, this uh, Casting Craft Transparent dye. You can also use acrylic paint, very small quantity, um, but it's very opaque. So if you want the clear, translucent look, then I suggest using um, the transparent dye that's made for resin. So all I do is, it's already mixed. Um, I'm just going to add two drops. Anything more than that, um, it's very, it comes out very, very, very dark. Sorry, let me just, um, I should really be using gloves, but I just realized I left them and I'm not going to go back. <laughs> so don't do that. Um, but okay, you can already see I'm getting a very, very pretty um, blue color. It looks darker in the cup, but when it actually dries, um, it's very transparent. So I'm just going to mix it up. Um, okay, so the tray that I'm using, it's actually for baking. It's a silicone uh, mold. I found it in the baking aisle. Um, and it's actually a little small for coasters, but my client didn't mind it. But they do have um, the silicone molds that are made for coasters that are a lot larger. Um, but I can make more with these uh, because it has more spaces. So I, I tend to use this, and it's it's pretty decent size for cups. If they want larger, you know, you can use the larger mold. And then all I did is I usually paint them. So in order to paint them, what I would do is do one small layer, let it dry, paint it, and then do another layer on top. But my customer really liked these um, stickers, so he actually brought them to me from the craft store. This is what they are. They're called stick abilities, um, sea animals, and they're just clear. And this is what I use. So I'm just gonna pick one from here as an example. And this is just my way of doing it. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's probably an easier and better way, but this is just the way that I do it. I think I'm gonna do this lovely little um, pink stingray right here. Um, and this is all it is. It's just a clear sticker. The picture doesn't transfer on the back, so I have to put. Make sure you put the image uh, face down in your in your tray. And so all I'm going to do is a sm quick small layer first. Pour it into the mold, and then grab the sticker image face down. I'm not wearing gloves. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> Um, and then I push it all the way down to the base of the mold with my pot, with the stick. And then just pour a little bit more on top. I have enough and I hate wasting any resin, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick um, probably this cute little turtle because I really don't want this to go to waste. <laughs> Now, um, you do have to monitor them because sometimes the resin will go underneath the sticker and kind of lift up the sides a little bit. So what I do is I give it enough time to where it gets to the gel stage um, of it, and then I will just kind of push it back down with the popsicle stick, and then it'll, it'll stay down for the most part. You just really want to watch it every couple of minutes because it, it can tend to float up to the top, and then you can't really see it once it um, demolds. So let me just finish pouring the rest here. And um, that's pretty much it. I have my little embossing gun that I use just to take the bubbles out. Um, and that hit helps to take out all the bubbles. I'll probably do it again in a couple of minutes once the rest of the bubbles pop up um, and when I fix the stickers. And that's it. So once it's done, you will have something that looks like this. And all I did was on the back, since it's going to be coasters, 
um, I didn't want it to scratch the surface, so I actually used these um, surface protectors. And this is a, a pack that I got in different colors, but I just used the clear ones. Um, that way you can't really see them, but they're on the back. Um, and that'll just help protect the table um, when they use them. I also, before doing that, um, the edges are sometimes a little bit sharp, so I will um, sand it a little bit and then just touch it up with a little bit more resin um, before putting the stickers, I mean the um, protectors. Um, and there you have it, that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I know it's a really quick video, but that's it. It's super easy um, and I can't wait. I'll show you what these look like when they're done. Bye! -bye.